Yeah. 
the Lord will open to her the gates of paradise and she will return to that homeland where there is no death but only lasting joy. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good morning everyone. You're very welcome as we gather uh, in the, these very strange times and strange circumstances around death. But we come to bid a prayerful farewell to Val Valerie Walker and also to support you all as family in the loneliness and the great sadness of death. How Valerie loved, enjoyed having you all together there for Christmas over the years. Your gathering in Hillbrook uh, just a few moments ago. It's very different and a very lonely kind of gathering. Neighbours and friends there too. So many who've made up uh, the story and the richness of her life and where her richness has touched into the richness that you uh, can carve out for yourself as your own story continues. Donald, first and foremost, to you, our sympathies, and uh, there's a great loss and a good pair you made together and great companions for each other in life. For you, Gillian, and for Leona, our deepest sympathies too. And to welcome yourself, uh, Christopher, and also to say a prayer for Johnny today as well. To the grandchildren, Christina and Hugh and Cara. She's been an important part of your lives and I'm sure she will continue to be and you've been a very important part of her life. And then great granddaughter too into the next generation, uh, Ava. Sympathies also to Valerie's sister, Carol, Anna, Anne in Dublin, and Ida over in Jersey, and brother Justin in New Zealand, who are unable to be physically uh, with us here this morning, but I'm sure are very much with us in our prayer. Maybe appropriate as well to say a prayer today for Valerie's parents, Vincent and Margaret Brannigan, and uh, predeceased by brothers Junior and Peter as well. So at the start of our prayer, just to reflect uh, something of the nature of the person and uh, some of her qualities, that we'll refer to later on through our Mass. Um, Leona and Christopher are going to place some symbols on Valerie's coffin. And a, a photograph, a, a photograph of Valerie herself and a piece of artwork, her own creation. And she very much had that artistic slant and also a pair of uh, beads to reflect the important part that faith played in her life and shaping the kind of person uh, that she aspired to be and to be thankful to God for the examples of the gospel that she made manifest in the goodness of her life. For six weeks before Valerie eventually passed away, Wednesday to last, it was a long, torturous journey for you, Dona, for Gillian, and for Leona. Accompanied her, you did, from near and far, and reached out to her. And indeed, your reaching out was not in vain. And may you always have that nice memory and image of 
the smile of appreciation that you uh, received in return. I suppose for Valerie herself, it was much less so arduous a journey. With oblivious to so much of what was happening around her, and comfortable and well cared for, and always attended to. And of course then, defying the odds, Valerie quietly hung on in there. And she was the most gentle of a character, and a lady to her fingertips. A great amount of kindness and goodness and yet, stubborn and determined, Valerie, she just kept going when it seemed it couldn't go on any longer. In the end, relieved for her, and happy and glad, if you like, that she has now passed over the finishing line. And as our reading will refer to, she has run the race and she has kept the faith now surely to receive the just rewards of heaven above. So she brings all the great goodness of her life to God, and she also brings her human frailty. So we pray that she may know God's reward and his mercy. So in our prayer for Valerie, we look to our own human frailty, where we feel the pain and sadness of death. We turn to the Lord Jesus for healing, for comfort, and for hope. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We thank God for the significant people in our lives who make, who make a rich contribution to our own story and journey. What we admire in other people and where we maybe fail to replicate in our own lives. For not fully replicating the example of the Lord Jesus ourselves, we pray, Christ have mercy. And Valerie, that you may be found worthy of a place at God's heavenly banquet table. That we may be worthy to offer our prayer for the repose of your soul. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, whose nature is always to forgive and reward and to show mercy, we humbly implore you for your servant Valerie, whom you have called to journey to you. And since she hoped and believed in you, grant that she may be led to our true homeland to delight in its everlasting joys. All prayer we present through Christ our Lord. So we listen now to the first uh, for two readings, and uh, I hope in these readings you will recognise something of Valerie herself, and that where we might strive to become better in our own way too. Do not be afraid, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. Should you pass through the sea, I will be with you, or through the rivers, they will not swallow you up. Should you walk through fire, you will not be scorched, and the flames will not burn you. For I am your God, the Holy One, your Saviour, because you are precious in my eyes, because you are honoured, and I love you. This is the word of the Lord. Yes, yeah. 
of St. Paul to Timothy. As for me, I am already being poured out as a libation, and the time of my departure has come. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. From now on, there is reserved for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. This is the word of the Lord. We stand to greet the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Come, you whom my Father has blessed, says the Lord. Take for your heritage the kingdom prepared for you since the foundation of the world. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Seeing the crowds, Jesus went up the hill. There he sat down and was joined by his disciples. Then he began to speak. This is what he taught them. How happy are the poor in spirit. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy the gentle. They shall have the earth for their heritage. Happy those who mourn. They shall be comforted. Happy those who hunger and thirst for what is right. They shall be satisfied. Happy the merciful they shall have mercy shown them. Happy the pure in heart, they shall see God. Happy the peacemakers, they shall be called children of God. Happy those who are persecuted in the cause of right, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy are you when people abuse you and persecute you and speak all kinds of calumny against you on my account. Rejoice and be glad for your reward will be great in heaven. This is the Gospel of the Lord. I'd like to be seated. The Beatitudes seemed a perfect fit for Valerie Walker. She was so much of what the Beatitudes speak in terms of being gentle and merciful, kind and good to people. And also she had a great laugh and sense of humour and 
she enjoyed that engagement with people. To be thankful and grateful for the way she has blessed our lives. Over her 76 years of life, Valerie always tread gently wherever she went. Her being a kindly soul, a generous nature, and indeed totally selfless, put herself out to great excesses she would, just to accommodate and oblige another. Not only close family and friends, but that was across the board. That's how she was with people. And you know, for someone that always had a dodgy heart, it was most certainly a heart of gold, a heart of goodness, and a heart of gladness too. Indeed, in her younger years, with the same dodgy heart, Valerie was first smitten by love at her brother's uh, wedding, Junior and Joy's big day. Valerie, a bridesmaid, Donal, a groomsman, a rare pair together you both made on the dance floor and all through life. But a pairing that has worked extremely well for you both. You each have brought your own unique style that you respect it and indeed where you complemented each other and added so much to each other's sense of well-being in life. Valerie always knew and appreciated that and her good sense of humour and laughter allowed her to enjoy it all the more. Donald and Valerie then married in Laytown Church, June the 3rd, 67. And to refer back to her dodgy heart, a year before that, Valerie underwent open heart surgery. And really quite amazing at the time that people would survive such a procedure. The biggest worries the surgeons had gone into the operation was the fact that Valerie herself was not worried or stressed about the whole thing. Stating without any doubt, reservation or nervousness, God has a path laid out for me in life. And indeed, when that gift of life was hanging very much in the balance, God did send her back to do the much work she needed to do and God obviously wanted her to do still here on earth. And she has done it well. Indeed, maybe she done it extremely well. She invested so much of herself in her home and family and all that you have meant to her. A homemaker, a mother, and then a nan too. Christina, I remember so much of your formative years under Valerie's watchful care. Leona and Christopher, Hugh and Cara, there was always great excitement looking forward to your visit home for Christmas. And then of course, the return trip back to England and Barley Cove every year was another 
super time for Valerie to look forward to and to speak of afterwards. Through it all, I suppose, for yourself, Donal, it's true to say that Valerie and you danced in harmony together in life. Not only on the dance floor, but beyond it as well. And all that she did to treasure and appreciate it all, and hopefully to take some lessons for your own living too. And as Valerie was with you, so with a wider family as well. She'd always give without ever counting the cost to herself. At home in Hillbrook, and also very much at home here in Holy Family. It became such an important part of her life and she a, treasure, a treasured aspect of the dynamic of parish here for so many years. Initially volunteering and also reader and minister here. And in her volunteering and later in her everyday work as parish secretary, she managed the parish finances and she done it extremely well. Meticulous and honest to the last. And it ensured that parish finances here were always in a very healthy state, despite all that we had to contend with. But Valerie accounted for every single penny in the proper and appropriate way. And people knew that, and it helped them to support Parish too. She had a great reverence here at the altar in how she proclaimed the spoken word. And she carried you to another place because you know that she took it on board very much herself. Sarkiston as well, everything was meticulously attended to. And a good friend to so many of us, priest and people too. There was no end to Valerie's kindness, her niceness and her helpful nature. Indeed, every visitor that ever came to the parish office would be made most welcome, treated with the utmost respect and dignity. They'd be given the time and the space. And because of her open nature and the warm reception, many felt empowered then to unburden themselves and tell their story. And Valerie was a listening ear and would offer her own little gems of wisdom and insight. Totally confidential and always really sensitive in her dealings with whoever appeared at the door. She respected where they may be coming from in life and she was not going to make any judgments. She set a very high standard as regards how Holy Family should function as a parish. And that's a standard that should be adhered to in every parish at every time. And it was the standard of the Lord Jesus himself and nothing less than that should be acceptable or allowed. She was a genuinely spiritual person 
for faith wasn't done out of routine or habit. Deeply, deeply rooted her faith. And reflective, she teased out the implications of her faith and could match that with some of the challenges that life set before her. She journeyed, of course, well in life. That goes without saying. So too, Donal and Valerie journeyed to Lourdes. And that was very proper and appropriate as well. Because over many years, Valerie worked tirelessly for the sake of Holy Family, that they too could get to Lourdes, when otherwise some of those people would never have. Valerie and Donal also, on a pilgrimage, would find memories uh, to St. Therese of Lisieux. Separated maybe when Donal got lost just for a few minutes, but reunited. Sadly, separated again, and hopefully reunited at a later time to Donal. This time now, Valerie makes her own journey. Trusting, no doubt, as she has always trusted, in the plan and the path that God has set out for her. May she go safely and tread gently into heaven above. May she rest in peace. So we lay Valerie down here at the altar and present her to God Most High. For you, Valerie, we pray thanks for the ways in which your life has been a positive influence and touched the lives of many in a very healthy and positive way. Lord, hear us. For you, Donal, for Gillian and for Leona, and for all of you as family and lifelong dear friends. We pray the comfort that comes from God above and the hope that comes from resurrection. Lord, hear us. On behalf of so many across Holy Family Parish, to pray thanks for all that she contributed to making Holy Family such a rich parish through her involvement and her example. Lord, hear us. And for those in our health care system, for those who are attentive, kind and good to Valerie over those final weeks of life. For all that our health care system has to deal at the present with the coronavirus and for all that we as a society have to deal with. that we may be respectful of the gift of human life and indeed its very delicacy, that we may tread gently and go safely, considering the health and well-being of others as well as our own. Lord, hear us. For all the other deceased members of your family circle that we take a moment to pause and say a prayer for.
that you may have many familiar faces from family and beyond family too. Valerie, that will be the first to greet and welcome you into the life that now awaits you. Lord, hear us. God our Father, our hearts will never rest until they come to rest in you. Grant to Valerie a lasting place of light, rest and eternal peace. This we ask, our prayer we make through Christ our Lord. accept the gifts and prayers that we present for Valerie today, along with gifts of bread and wine, to be transformed to become the gift of the Lord Jesus. So too may Valerie be transformed from earthly to heavenly existence through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, all powerful, ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ. In him who rose from the dead, our hope of resurrection dawned. The sadness of death gives way to the bright promise of immortality. Lord, for your faithful people, life is changed, not ended. When the body of our earthly dwelling lies in death, we gain an everlasting dwelling place in heaven. We praise you with saints and angels and peoples gone before us. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. It comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise, for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we bring to you for consecration, that they become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving thanks, he blessed and broke it and he said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving thanks, he passed it among the disciples, and he said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Dying you destroyed our death, rising you restored our life, Lord Jesus come in glory. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the birth of the Lord Jesus, the life that he has lived and the teachings he has left us, we look beyond the suffering and sadness of Calvary to know the joy and the glory of resurrection, to offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Giving thanks, you have held us worthy to be in your presence, to minister and serve you. Look, we pray upon the offering of your people come together as church. Under the leadership and guidance of Francis, our Pope, Tom, our Bishop. Listen graciously to the prayers of the family whom you have summoned here before you today. In your compassion, merciful Father, gather to yourself all your people scattered throughout the world. Remember Valerie, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. For other deceased members of your family circle, we pause in prayerful remembrance. Give them, Lord, kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when every tear will be wiped away from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all ages and praise you without end. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. So we say together as one, standing in faith, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from all that is evil. Graciously grant peace in our time, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. The power and the glory are yours, God. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lord Jesus, the Lamb of God, he who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called now to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring Valerie and loved ones to eternal life. And those in family receiving communion, uh, I'll go to the seats if you'd like to stand if you wish to receive. Grant unto her, O Lord, and may perpetual light shine upon her. May she rest in peace. Amen. May her soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, your Son, Jesus Christ, gave us the sacrament of his body and blood to guide us on our pilgrim way to your kingdom. May Valerie, who shared in the Eucharist, come to the banquet of life Christ has prepared for us. So before we go our separate ways, let us now take leave of Valerie. May our farewell express our care and affection for her. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet her again with the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. And uh, Declan is going to accompany us with a little piece as we uh, do the blessing of the coffin. And uh, we bless the, uh, Valerie with the holy water, a reminder of the sacrament of baptism and how um, that sense of God and the richness of her faith contributed to the rich richness of her own person and that it may allow her now come to the richness of heaven and then to incense the coffin as a sign of our respect and reverence for the dead. And Valerie always treated people in a very respectful, kind, welcoming and caring way. And that uh, God may treat her equally so in heaven above. And as the smoke rises from the incense, that it might reflect our prayers rising to be heard in the presence of God and Valerie, peacefully arising 
to a new life that kindly awaits her. angels of the Lord, receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. May Christ who called you take you to himself. May angels lead you to the side of Abraham, receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend Valerie and the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, she will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon her during this lifetime. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn towards us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to Valerie and help us who remain to comfort one another in assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ we are with you and Valerie forever. May the angels lead you on into paradise. May martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. May you find there eternal rest and lasting peace. So we now accompany Valerie on her final journey to her resting place. <coughs> I see the sky. 